Philly Mayor is moving in behind the Metro Home Building Center starting gate. It's post time for the seventh. Now let's go back upstairs for the call to track announcer Vance Cameron. Claire Hall, Hanover, Ark Light, Charles Brook, Bailey. Bayside Alexis, Atlantic Drive, and Can't Catch Caden. Starting gate swings around the turn. They're entering the stretch. Now approaching a start. The rough and pacing can't catch Caden Salzbrook barely between those is Bayside Alexis into the turn. Atlantic Drive fourth. Then in fifth, it's Arc Light. The early trailer. That's Claire Hall Hanover. Arriving at the opening eighth, it's Salzbrook Bailey the leader. To her outside, that's Bayside Alexis coming to call early. Third up the cones is Can't Catch Caden away in fourth Atlantic Drive. Fifth is Arc Light. And the trailer is the post time favorite, Claire Hall Hanover. And she has work to do on by the opening quarter on the front end. Solves Brooke Paley, the leader from McKenzie. 30 and three opened it up. Taking a seat, checking around the turn with Bayside Alexis. Then in third, that's Can't Catch Caden. Backfield in motion now. Art Wright is underway. Up fourth on the outside. Following her to the outside, fifth is Claire Hall Hanover. Now the trailer. That is Atlantic Drive. They're at the midway point, and Art Wright rushes up for Campbell to clear the lead off stride. Claire Hall Hanover hit the run. End of the turn, the half mile in 101 and three. Midway round the paddock turn. The leader now is Art Wright. Second, racing at the rail is Salzbrook Billy. Then in third is Bayside Alexis. Can't catch Caden is tipped out fourth. Then in fifth towards the inside, Atlantic Drive. And in the backfield on the run, Claire Hall, Hanover, three quarters, the next station. Art Light at the rail, the leader. Here's Bayside Alexis now at her wheel late. Third on the cone to Salzbrook Billy. Can't catch Caden fourth on the outside. On the rail, fifth Atlantic Drive, three quarters in one, 32 and one. They're homeward bound now. Art like the leader from the outside is Bayside Alexis up the passing lane. Salzbrook Bailey, they're in deep stretch now. Coming to the wire, can't catch Caden. Art like got there for Campbell. Can't catch Caden was coming hard on the end of it towards the rail. Salzbrook Bailey, top of the mile in two old. Two and two. Okay, we're going to get a look at the replay here for race seven and Johnny McKenzie and Salzbrook Bailey. They wanted to cut it here tonight and they did for a little while. 30 and three to the quarter, 101 and three to the half. And that's when they released Arc Light and Mark Campbell to the front and sat the pocket. They get up to the three quarters and 132 and one. And then they were coming at Arc Light on both sides down the stretch here as Johnny McKenzie and Salzbrook Bailey move up the pass the lane and on the far outside, Dale Spinner Spence and can't catch Caden on the far outside, but Arc Light digs in and hangs on for Campbell here in the seventh time of the mile, 202 and two. That is a nice trip on the off track for this two year old filly by Cam Mystic. We'll see them in the winner's circle next.
Dark Light in the seventh race winner's circle, chasing Brown Philly 2 by Comistic from the Ponderosa Dam Red Star Ashley. Home of the Greyland Farm, Pugwash, Nova Scotia, Mark Campbell training and driving, Philly scoring in 2-0, 2-2. Arc Light in the seventh. 